Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at style sheets in Android. So I've got this application here, list demo application, that has these list items in it and if I look at the XML that styles these list items, it's this XML here and it's got hard-coded colors in it and text sizes. It's got an Android, Android background color here and it's got um, text color and text size and it's good practice to take at, at least the colors and text sizes and fonts and things like that and possibly also other attributes as well and put them in a style sheet that can then be applied either to your whole application or to a particular activity or, or even to um, just particular text views but it's better to take this style information out, out of your raw XML files, your, out of your layout views. So I'm going to go ahead and create a style sheet here in which I can put colors and text sizes. And I'll do this now, I'll create this now because it's easier to see it than to hear an explanation of it. And I'll explain a bit more afterwards. So probably you've already got this styles.xml in your values folder. And this is a kind of stub for a style sheet, but I'm going to ignore that and create my own one from scratch, actually. And I'm going to just, let's click off that, and I'm going to right click my values here and go to new Android XML file. And I'll set resource type to values. And the file, let's call it, well, the application is called custom lists, let's call it custom list styles. So you can have one, more than one style sheet or style I should say because it's not really a sheet within a single XML file and uh, you need to make sure that the root element here is going to be resources and I'll click finish and then I'll double click my custom list styles and if you just look at the raw view at the moment, I've just got a couple of, I've got an open and closing resources tag here. But I'm going to go to the user interface view, the Eclipse kind of view of it, and click add here. And I'm going to add a style stroke theme. Actually, a theme is just a style that's applied to an entire activity, but it's actually no different from a style. So now I'll click OK and I need to give this a name and since uh, since I might, I don't know, I might choose to apply this to my entire activity, my entire application at least to start with. So I'll give this a name, um, I'll just give this a generic name since I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it exactly. I'll call it JWP just because JWP are my initials or I could just call it actually my style which makes it clear that I've just made this name up I think. And I'm not going to specify parent here. I'm just going to click save all here. And if I look at the raw view here, I've just that's just given my style a name. And I'll go back to the resources view and I'll click add and I'll add an item. And now an item corresponds to basically anything that you can style a user element with, a view with. Um, or at least if not if not everything then a lot of things so I'm going to take this Android text size I'm going to copy that and that's going to become the name of the item in my style Android colon text size so I'll copy that and I'll paste this in here right click and go to paste and for value I'm going to go back to my layout again and I'm going to take this 16 device independent pixels, copy that and I'm going to paste that in for the value here so paste it in, let's just take a quick look actually maybe 16 is a bit big, I'm not sure um, let's make it 14 and see how that looks and then I'll click save all and if you look at custom list styles like XML, the raw view now we've got this item in here which styles the text size to 14 uh, device independent pixels and I could have for example I can take this color as well Android text color here let's uh, go back to my style sheet here where are we 
and not that one this one list oh that's an old file actually that I've got open so I'll close that let's go to custom list styles XML here go to the resources view and click add and I'll add another item and let's set this the name of this to Android Android colon text color and let's set the text color to white so I'll say hash and one two three four five six F's so red green and blue are all set to FF which is the maximum possible value and I'll save that so we've got text size and text color in here and now let's just demonstrate that so initially what I'll do is I'll go to my Android manifest here and if I scroll up and go to application let's have a look so here I've got this theme and I can set the theme to a style sheet that will style my entire application so in this case it would set all the text of my application to 14 device independent pixels that's the size of it and the color to white and just to show you that let's click browse and select my style that's the name of the name that I gave to my style sheet and I'm going to go to my list message item here and I'm going to delete the size and color from my actual items so let's get rid of actually I'll, I'll leave this for the moment so if